the color of architecture, physical chemical analysis of polychromy on stone in a 16th century Gothic portal at the Cathedral of Santo Domingo. The authors of this presentation are Virginia Flores Sasso, Esteban Prieto Vicioso, Letzai Ruiz Valero, and Jose Garcia de Miguel. Introduction. Color has always played a role in the human evolutionary process and has been used as a way of expression. But the time, the lack of maintenance and abandonment, the lack of studies related to the presence of polychromy in the architecture, and the 19th century idea of eliminating building plasters to expose stone and brick have caused many to ignore and forgotten the presence in color in historical buildings. In most cases, disappear, leaving only traces of color. The aim of this research is to study the polychromy on stone of a 16th century Gothic portal in the Cathedral of Santo Domingo. The Basilica and Metropolitan Cathedral, Our Lady St. Mary of the Incarnacion of Santo Domingo, was built between 1521 and 1540. It is the first cathedral in the New World, located in the Hispaniola Island was built during the reign of Emperor Charles V. It's a Gothic cathedral with the Hallenkrisch or Saloon plant with three naves and 14 chapels between buttresses. The church is covered with ribbed vaults made of Carolina limestone. It is orientated east-west following the astronomical criteria with the entrance to the west and the altar and polygonal apse to the east. In the, in the transepts have two portals, one in the south, which led to the bishop's palace and the priest's house, was private and therefore less decorated, and the other on the north, called the Gothic portal, which is more decorated with vegetable motifs and religious sculpture. Gothic portal north of the Cathedral of Santo Domingo, finished in 1527 and inside there is a stone on the door that confirms it. In 1615, the portal was partially mutilated to build the cathedral chapter. The north transept entrance, which was primarily used by the Manson's Brotherhood's canons, was the door where the parishioners accessible to the church and served as part as the processional route. The portal is framed within an OG art, resembling a curtain, element used in the Spanish Tardo Gothic. The three arch that form the archivolt are decorated with vegetable motifs, pearls, and a surbased oval arc framing the tympanum of a portal are Saint Domain, Saint Saturino, and Virgin Mary of the Incarnation, a carved limestone vases of lilies between the archivolt and the OG art. During the preservation labors in 2013, paint was located on this portal, which were analyzed and cataloged. About five different colors of painting were collected and fragments were taken for analysis. The selected fragments are representative of different parts of the portal, vases, hams, Tympanum and Archivolts. Materials and Methods We used Transmission Pluralized Light Microscopy, PLM, Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy, FTIR, Scanning Electron Microscopy, Energy Dispersive Elemental Analysis X-ray, SEM slash EDX, Gas Chromatography, C uh, GC, Diffraction Rays X, DRX, Moon Cell Color System, MCS, Digital Color Meter. This is an image of where we took the samples. Transmission Polarized PLM, Light Microscopy. The sample CSD2 has four layers. The first one is a white base, and on it there are ochre and brown. The pigment is from natural earth, and as a binder, the animal glue was used. CSD3 has two layers. The first one is a white base, and on it, 
they are blue. Pigment is organic blue and as binder use fatty acid and hydrocarbons. CSD4 has three layers. The first one is a white base and on it there are one green and another brownish. The pigment of the green color are from copper chlorides and as a binder used fatty acids and hydrocarbons. CSD5 has three layers. The first one is a white base and on it there are one red and one gray brown. The pigment is from natural earth and as a binder used fatty acids and hydrocarbons. Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy, FTIR. FTIR covers a wide range of chemicals application, especially for polymers and organic compounds. A few samples reflecting some of the more important functional group. When it compares, the result can appreciate the subtle differences, comparing frequency, intensity, and shape. In sample SDC2, can see the deformation product of the chemical structure. The first graph is the inner face and the sec second the outer. It was observed that the chemical composition are quite similar. Scanning electron microscopy, energy dispersive elemental analysis x-ray, SEM slash EDX. The results indicated that all the samples have calcium and some show sulfur due to the pollution and dirt that the walls have. See Table 1. Also, although the in minimal quantities, is, it appears aluminum, silicon, chlorine, iron, potassium, sulfur, and sodium. Gas chromatography, GC. The fatty acid chromatogram of sample CSD2 indicate that the peak at 22 minutes corresponds to animal fat cholesterol. The amino acid and sugar chromatogram of sample CSB2 indicates peaks at 22 minutes. The table of compound of the CSD2 sample indicates six elements and chromatogram of amino acids and sugar detected more than 70 compounds. In fatty acids, chromatogram of sample CSD3 can observe five compounds. In SCD4 sample, the amino acid and sugar chromatogram indicates that there are 65 components. In sample SCD5, present peak at 16.5 minutes and 18.437 minutes. The fatty acid chromatogram presents six major components. Diffraction X-ray, DRX, sample CSD2. This color is applied directly on the stone. The analysis shows soil as chromatographore, a plaster base as a support, and a gum arabic as a binder, perhaps sap of the Optunia species that abounds on the island Hispaniola. The CSD2 sample first presents a plaster stucco pigmented with an earth tempera that also contains animal glue. Gypsum, plaster gum left with yellowish stone. They also have a tempera as an agglutinant and a plaster base. It has been applied over a plaster stucco and its chromatographer is of a yellow or ochre earth. As particularities, it contains calcium phosphate. This component can come from bone ash, sometimes added to pigments and to, to darken them. Bone black provides a black-brown tone to distinguish it from carbon black, which provide a bluish-black tone. Sample CSD3, CSD4, and CSD5. All of them carry a load of plaster, and a hardening binder. As for the chromatographer, the blue is organic, the malachite green is copper mineral, copper carbonate, and the earth red. As particularities, the blue polychrome arrives a load of mineral barite, barium sulfate, to lighten the tone. Barium sulfate was usually synthetic from the 18th century onward, since the mineral contained in the sample is mineral. It must be assumed that this pigment predates 
that century. As for the red polychrome, it shows traces of a synthetic treatment based on a polyvinyl. It should be remembered that polyvinyl acetate has been a treatment that became fashionable in a stage of the last century in restoration by what appeared to be the remains of the recent treatment. Sample CSD3, blue. This sample shows a very thin layer of blue directly applied to the stone support. The organic blue is possibly indigo. The presence of barium sulfate in the layer attracts attention. Although barium sulfate appears in nature in the form of barite, it has been used in painting since ancient times. The particle size of the pigment confirms that it is a natural pigment as far as the technique is concerned. It is a greasy tempera in which the protein has disappeared, transforming itself into oxalates. Sample CSD4 green was made with malachite, which is partially altered to chlorine copper carbonates. It is a natural pigment as it is accompanied by small inclusions of ochre soil rich in clays and iron oxide. <clears throat> The green pigment grains are immersed in a gypsum matrix. The binder is fatty, possibly a protein with an abundant fatty component, such as casein or albumin. Traces of palmitic and stearic fatty acids and a trace of acelaic acid are also observed. Sample CSD5 red. The pigment is red earth covered by a patina in which plaster, charcoal, and a trace of vinyl polymer appear, a sign of protection from a recent restoration. The binder is fatty, possibly a protein with an abundant, fa abundant fatty component, such as casein or ab albumin. All three samples present chlorides, which is a consequence of their exposure to a saline environment. Marine aerosols, surely. These chlorides have also had an attack to malachite of the green pigment by generating chlorine copper carbonates. There is also charcoal trapped in the outermost layer, which indicates pollution. Determination of the color by Munsell Color System, MCS, and Digital Color Mirror. In the Munsell system, the value is indicated with a number, so for CSD2, is 10, CSD3 is 5, CSD4 is 1, and CSD5 is 5. Hue is the color and are given letter codes. For example, red, yellow, green, green yellow, and so on. In the Munsell system, chroma is indicated with a number, typically in the range of 2 to 14. Each color is designated with what is referred to as a color notation. By viewing colors on the charts, we can see how colors relate to one another visually. Conclusions. The result indicates that four colors were used in the North Portal, ochre, blue, green, and red. The ochre was identified in two of the applications, one directly on the stone of the walls and the other applied on the base of plaster. In this case appears in the jams and decorative details. All the colors use the earth as a pigment and polysaturide rubber as a binder, coming from a fruit tree rubber or the sap of Oputinia. There are also pigments that were used as a very greasy tempera binder of casein or albumin, an animal glue, probably blood and or milk. The types of pigments used were malachite for green, organic blue for blue, earth for ochre, and for red, the same earth, but calcined. In singular zones of the portal, such as the tympanum or the archivolts, polychromies were also applied with techniques similar to the general monochromatic tones. Therefore, the color ochre is a paint of earth with protein binder, having been identified animal glue. It is applied on a stucco rich in plaster and calcite. The blue comes from indigo with a degraded protein binder, but with high fat component, so it could be tempera of casein or albumin. 
because of the egg, blood, and milk have a high fat component. Green uses malachite, which is a copper mineral with a degraded protein binder, but with a high fat component. The red colors has a calcite and red earth with an animal tail binder. Thank you very much. Here we leave our emails if you wish to contact us.